there. <laughs> now the question is, is he going to be able to accumulate enough points on this run? He might have to win it all. Great kick there by Strafen, man. Angle kick right at the one-inch yard line in the corner by the pylon. I don't think he could have placed that ball any better than that. And uh, GFG comes out with it. I don't think he got back to the 20, though. He's forcing you to make a decision early. Strafing is one of the most cerebral players in the Madden community. He likes to run a lot of different looks on defense and even more looks on offense. First down and 10, GFG Wade. We'll call him Wade from here on out. Wade with the ball. He'll have the first crack at it there. And you look at Wade offensively. He's going to be running the Cardinals playbook. Defensively, the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. Going to see a lot of gun flip trips out of him. Uh, a little bit of single back wing tight as well. And that's what he's going to come out in on this very first play. And we'll see if he gets it off the bow. And there's the toss sweep. The bow stops. A little, a little hesitation there. Uh, a little boo-boo there for Wade on the first play. That was one of those scripted plays that he knew he was running before he woke up today. <laughs> He, he knew his first play to get the cobweb shaking all off. He's like, I'm going to give this one low. Whatever happens, happens. Kind of looked like me on the sticks. There. Okay, well, which button do I need to push? Which way? Which way is he going, George? Which way did he go? Which way did he go, George? <laughs> Wade on second down at 11 uses, uh, loses a yard for Bo Jackson. A 95 overall, the fullback Bo Jackson. Once again, he's back into the single back, the wing tight. Uh, we're going to see some running out of him. Uh, on his cap, uh, slightly more on defense. Uh, put a lot of money into the defense trying to get those turnovers uh, there But right now he's got the ball on offense up the middle and that's a positive gain for Bo Jackson a gain of about four so It'll be third down and seven uh, for Bo Jackson What do you think you think this single back wing tight will kind of slow the game down and and keep it in his favor and kind of shorten the game a little bit That always works for you until you get behind <laughs> until it doesn't <laughs> yeah <laughs> And then you're forced to make some decisions and step out of your comfort zone what he's going to need to do is limit these long third downs because third and seven is a tough, tough, tough thing to do against somebody as good as Ivy Strafer. There it is. He's back into now his passing formation. The gun flip trips. Still hands the ball off to Bo Jackson like that. So here's a guy that's actually sticking to his game plan out in the single back wing tight. Little, you know, speed, a little, little, you know, a little switch up, a little change up there with the thing. The other gun flip trips, and we've got our first fourth down of the ball game, fourth and four. And he's back. Oh, don't go there. And it's picked off by Collins, heading back the other way. And strafing once again, heavy on his defense. Not a lot on the offense, I mean, the defensive line, but a lot of money in that secondary, and he comes up big for him there. Here's where Wade's going to run into a problem. Do you realize he had Randy Moss on fourth down running a drag route? Yeah. I need him. There's only one route I want Randy Moss running every down. Let's go. Those? Yeah. <laughs> go. And we're going to take the lid off this defense. You're going to have to take two people with him everywhere you go. I don't need him running these quick outs. Look at wow. that stick work. Howard, good job. He's still on his feet. Breaks the tackle. He gone. Into the end zone. That's a touchdown. One play, one score. I'd be strafing with the lead. 6 nothing. pinning the extra point. And here, Mr. Rico Williams. This is when it comes into play. Being a veteran, having the ability to make these plays and put some pressure on the guy that is the underdog right now. And uh, right now, you can't get off to a better start if you're IB straight. Yes, and now this is where we talked about. Is Wade going to be able to stick to his game plan and continue to run? Bo Jackson kicking off. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> that was Bo Jackson kicking off. And you see he put it out of bounds. Or as we like to say growing up, he kicked in the bushes. So Ryan Danzig, uh, once again, with the lead 7-0. I.B. Strafing, the 26-year-old from Marshville, Wisconsin. But he's a huge Vikings fan, guys. Make sure you don't give him a grief, uh, too much grief, because he's from Wisconsin. But he's a huge Vikings fan. Maybe one of the biggest Vikings fans there is. Knows the history of the, of the Purple People Eaters and all of those great Vikings teams. The four Super Bowl appearances, hopefully number five this year in their own stadium. If you think about the Vikings, there's a room for Bo Jackson. He's got some room. Almost taking it to the house, but he's brought down around midfield. You look at the Vikings. Could they be the first team ever to play in a Super Bowl in their home stadium? The Dolphins, uh, back 20 years ago, uh, 15, 20 years ago, got to the divisional round and lost when the Super Bowl was in the minor. But no one's ever even gotten to the conference championship. Game. Here's what I'll tell you. Georgia has laid the groundwork for them. <laughs> Playing in Atlanta right now. Right. It's a 70-mile drive from Athens, yeah, it's Athens to, to Atlanta. Atlanta. Stranger things have happened. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm going to place down my marker. I've got Patriots and Vikings Super Bowl 52. That's what I think is going to happen. And the Vikings are going to play a Super Bowl in their home stadium 
But it's funny. I think they'll have to wear white, though, because I think the AFC is the home team <laughs> in Super Bowl 52. So that might be strange. But I think the Vikings, Skull Country, baby. I think the Vikes will be in the Super Bowl in their home stadium. Second down and seven. They definitely have all the pieces. Man, that defense is good. Offense is good. Case Keenum. And there's Bo Jackson. Breaks the tackle. Oh, and here he comes into the end zone. And he takes it to the house. And we've got a ball game. Wade said, hold on here. I might be the rook. Well, not the rook. The underdog, but I'm not going anywhere. Pinning the extra point. The extra point. Stat. Ball down. It's up, and it is good. And just like that, four plays into the game, two scores in our last four plays. And if you notice, he never got out of his game. He still stuck with it, and he was that savvy veteran that he is. It kicked in. He was unbothered by that first stop. He knows as long as he continues to play his game, and he has video game bow on his side. He knows how to score. Video game, Bo. Uh, a little mistake there by Ivy Strafing. Running out of bounds there. He couldn't quite uh, tightrope that sideline there. But he'll have the ball around his own 16-yard line. First down and 10. Second possession for Ivy Strafing. His first possession, of course, he scored on the very first play of the game. Ivy Strafing. Offense going with the Saints offense. Defense is uh, more of a multiple. And he's got a pass completed there to Paul Krause. He has a little switch up there. He did tell me that. He's going to use Paul Krause there uh, on his offense side there uh, as a receiver. So a good job getting it out to the uh, former Viking great, number 22, with that single bar, Paul Krause, playing receiver for him today on offense, Rico. As you know, he is a man of many plays, many reads, and many looks. You never know what to expect for him on offense. He keeps, he's going to keep weight off balance the entire game. What you want to do is to play that bend don't break against Ivy Strafen. And when he does make a mistake, you have to, to try capitalize. to capitalize on it. Exactly. He's too good of a player to allow him to get past those. And he's talked about that in the past when he's been on the big stage. He's had some really big wins with being in this community. When he has lost, he's made some mistakes, some critical mistakes late in ball games. That's how you got to beat him. And we'll see if Wade can force him into some mistakes. Oh, he couldn't get it off. And there's a sack by Wade. So Ed Reed. It was, he doesn't have the turnover chain because that's not a turnover, but he's from Miami. There you go, Ed Reed. There, a sport that, turnover That was chain. the definition of a coverage sack. <laughs> it was. Wade took away all of his reads, and then when he came back to wait for the other one, it was right there for that. Fourth and 13 in your own 14. You got to stop. Well, I'll tell you what. When you're, wow. when you're talking about Abby Strafing, he was talking about he spent a lot of money heavy on his cap. Got Deshaun. He's got Julio, Paul Krause. Feels like he can get stops on defense. That's not his worry. So he says he'll... You know, spend less on his offense because he's, uh, defense is going to be so great and he can use the passing attack to really create some offense for him. And there's a pass completion there to Bo Jackson who's playing tight end for him. <laughs> Good job. So he's got some old school guys on offense and this is the, the pretty much the playbook for Ivy Street. And this comes down to when I love the chat to throw their two cents in right now. Fourth and 13. Are you guys playing coverage or are you sending that heat and not allowing them time to get down 13, 14 yards? to get that first down. Yeah, on those deep in-breaking routes. I mean, you're looking like 18, 20 yards downfield. I would bring the pressure, too, uh, as well. They're second and four for I.B. Strafen. 26-year-old, Marshville, Wisconsin. Last year's Vikings champion looking to repeat like Killer Mike did out in Seattle uh, for the Seahawks uh, to get back down to Orlando in the Pro Bowl for the overall Madden Club Championship. Second down and four for Strafen. He's got a second down and four. Watson uh, in the gun there. Lose a lot of two tights for him. He's got Howard up the middle, going to come up about a half a yard short there. Third down and about one third in inches uh, for Ibi Strafen. When you talk about Wade Bunch or Ray Wade Branch, excuse me, he's got that three four solid. So we'll see a lot of three four out of Wade. Maybe a little he'll sprinkle in some three three five as well uh, for Wade. And he's got that heavy hitter in the in the safety position with Ed Reed there. Third down and one. Strafen's going to dot that eye. He hands it off. Fakes the hand off to Howard. He's looking deep. Nope. Comes across. Hits Bo Jackson. His tight end coming across in that out route. And he picks up a first down. So once again, he's doing a great job on third and fourth down. Picking up picking up them and moving the sticks. You got to appreciate the timing on that pass that Strafen just threw. He threw it right when he had that window to make sure it wasn't picked. Got that completion and was able to move those sticks. Also, so his guy didn't get blown up either right before he got met and got hit by the defender who was sitting in there in that zone. Want to give a shout out to DC Neutron out there in the chat. He was the first one to respond and he says, that's why you gotta send the heat. 
Mm -hmm. Fourth and 13, you can't allow them to sit back there, pat the ball, and go through all those reads. Great call, DC Neutron. I agree with you. Uh, absolutely, Grout. Thank you guys. Turn him around on that one, especially on that play there when he's going to run those deep in-breaking routes. And it's taking all day. Yeah, you can't let him seven-step drop and, and, and keep floating back and pat the ball a couple of times. He will pick that zone apart. Second down and five for Strafen. Picks up a few more yards there. So far, 54 yards rushing for Strafen. Uh, doing a good job with uh, Watson in the uh, backfield at quarterback and also Howard. Like I said, he didn't spend a whole lot of his cap money on offense. Most of his money's on defense. He just wants to get those stops. There is some heat being brought, and he's got the crosser. Bo Jackson once again breaks a tackle. Get off me, Bo. Once again, lowers the shoulder. Oh, Bo Jackson doing a good job of bringing the physicality there. And some real good strength, some 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 truckability, if you will, uh, for Bo Jackson first and ten. That needs Raven. to be a new category. <laughs> truckability. In the race. Truckability. Wow. All right, back in the gun bunch. Got Howard on the left side. Brought down after a game of about six there. We'll call it second down and four. Howard off to a good start. Six carries, 61 yards. We'd have that long run on the first play of the game on offense for Bobby Strafen. And the crowds are starting to really, really gather here inside of Mall of America. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams. Rico is hilarious live here at the Mall of America for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship. We're here live inside of the beautiful Mall of America. We've been exchanging tweets. I want to thank the folks at Mall of America. Oh, Howard taking down hard there. Finally, some defense. He shot that gap. Sure Perfect did. timing. Wait, can he bow his neck, Rico? Can he, can he get stout here and get a stop? There's the Sean Watson. Oh, and he's got oh, a receiver. Wow. Oh, what a catch there by Paul Krause. The offense of Paul Krause. That's when you know you're good, man. When you have confidence in your offense, when you're taking guys on defense. I've seen the Ryan Shaziers, uh, some of these other linebackers. Anthony Barr played tight end for some of these teams. He's got two defensive guys, Paul Krause and uh, uh, Bo Jackson as well, playing out of position as tight end. So Straven doing a good job, really, really confident in his offensive ability and his offensive play calling uh, back into that bunch right there with Howard behind him in the pistol formation. Howard off to left side, and he's going to walk in and cruise in for a touchdown there. That was a great play call there by Strafen. It sure was. He gets the lead. He's up by a touchdown, 13-7, pinning the extra point. And he'll go up 14-7 of this extra point. It's taken down and put up through the uprights. He'll have a touchdown lead with about three minutes and six seconds left. And we go back and forth on the seesaw. Wade, what do you got? It'll be your turn next, buddy. The veteran will get the ball again down by a touchdown. Rico. He has a heavy dose of Bo Jackson coming up. As we saw from his scoring drive, that's how he's going to make his mark in this tournament. The question is, is he going to be able to mix up those runs so that Ivy Strafe is not going to be able to time them and shoot those gaps? 30th ranked player in Madden right now. Oh, he had a little seam. Just couldn't quite hit it for Paul Richardson. But you look at Ivy Strafe, and like I said, he's ranked outside of the top 16. You want to get inside the top 16, guys. That's where you get that half a million dollars in the Madden Ultimate League later on this spring. Uh, and the championship being held sometime in late April. So, Strafen, he told me, I need four wins. He gets two today, go down to Orlando, win two, and he's probably going to punch his ticket. So he's definitely got his game face on, and he's ready. And there's the toss sweep to Bo Jackson. Off the right-hand side, breaks a couple tackles, brought down. Gain of about six or seven. We'll call it second down and three uh, for him. When you look at Strafen, heavy on defense, we talked about it. He's got Watson, Julio, Paul Krause on offense, Ben uh, Bo Jackson as well. Feels like he can just get stops on defense because he makes up for it with your term, the user. That's how he's going to stand this ball game right now. Where's the user? Because Bo Jackson is eating right now. Eating isn't even the word. He is devouring the defense right now. And if you're Ivy Strafen, there's no worse feeling than not being able to stop the run in Madden. He's going to have to figure out something and something quick, or else this is going to be a long game for him on the defensive side of the ball. Once again, Wade, middle of last year, started back into competitive Madden, and on a first and ten, hands off to Bo Jackson. Call it a, a none-yard gain there. Second down and ten for GFG Wade. Going to get down to about the two-minute warning. I think he'll let it trickle on down a two-minute warning. Here's what you need to do if you're Wade. you got to score here to tie up this ball game and even it back up uh, and get back on that teeter-totter. As Strafen, the defending Madden 17 Vikings champion, has a 14-7 lead now. As we're two minutes away with that two-minute warning, Rico. Clock management. 
a lot, a lot of games come down to clock management. Now, you think it might be fourth quarter, but no. These decisions that you make in the first half impact and trickle down to those fourth quarter decisions and influence them. So you got to be smart here and end on a strong note. Wade, you got to take advantage, man, of Randy Moss out there. You got to take advantage of him. He's in a tight 3-4 defense. You got to take, oh, he slides. You got, oh, he... Getting a little frustrated? I, I am a little bit. You got Moss out there one-on-one, -on -one, bro, right? You, you, you got to go to Randy Moss at some point, right? You got to test him. Yeah. I know he's got a great secondary, but Randy Moss one-on-one, -on -one, you, you got to go after that. Honest. Yeah. What's going to happen is he's going to continue to load the box and stop your bow. That's what he's doing. He's in that 3-4 defense. He's loading the box. Safety giving a little help, but he's, 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 he's coming down. He's, look, he's not even backing up. But he, I guess he's listening. <laughs> he's listening now. <laughs> But if Bo's going to keep getting it done, now here's where he, you're facing a fourth and four now. Fourth and four. Does he still have faith in Bo? Or is he looking to take this one up top now and air it out? Probably going to go with Bo uh, here. He's been riding the hot hand. So uh, a minute 18 left. Got a timeout here. Fourth and four. I go with Bo here probably. Uh, but I'll tell you what, in the second half, you got to start looking at Moss. I mean, I know you got Bo Jackson running, but if I see Moss out there one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to test him every single time. You know as well as I know, not very many defenders. Not even every backs time. With him. Every time. Every time, right? I mean, the only guy really that can even stay with him, I know Paul Krause is great as maybe Deion Sanders, but uh, I, he doesn't have him on wave on straight from defense. So we'll see how that – oh, he had him across the middle. He had Randy Moss right down the seam. And that was a Missed touchdown. Him. <laughs> there was nobody over the top. There was nothing. Mm, mm, mm. And you know why he missed him? Because he's not a passer. Yeah. And he's not used to, he wasn't comfortable. You can see he wasn't comfortable in that pocket. Sure. He had one read and one read only on that play, which didn't allow him to see the wide open Randy Moss. Yep. And the thing is, on fourth down, if Randy Moss isn't your first read, I think we're working backwards here. Yeah, and you can't get that 1998 connection uh, the, the Vikings had during that fabulous 19 and, uh, 80, 1998 season, 15 and 1 NFC Championship game. Of course, we all remember that painful loss to the Falcons uh, back in the day, Jamal Anderson and those Dirty Birds. But what a team that was back in 1998, man. 15 and 1 with, uh, with Robert and those guys running the rock. Uh, Chris Carter catching uh, passes for, uh, from uh, Randall Cunningham and those guys. What a team that was. Howard up the middle. Every time it seems like Howard is picking up six, seven yards. If I'm IB strafing, it's great defense. You know those guys are going to play. You got your user. You got great defensive backs, and your offense, not a lot of money that you spent on offense, but you've got a great scheme here, and your playbook is fabulous as well. First down and 10 for Strafen. He's got a seven-point lead. Tick, tick, tick. He's got two timeouts left. It's time to pick it up a little bit here and see if he can get that touchdown before the half. Back to pass. Sean Watson takes up. Oh, what a move. Deeks him out, oh. fakes him out, slides and gets down, and then calls the timeout in the red zone now hey. with 30 seconds left, under 30 seconds. And here's where it gets interesting. If he would have known that guy was going to pick up that block, he might have still been running. <laughs> that was some nifty stick work by Strafen. It was. Good job there by I.B. Strafen. Has a seven-point lead. It's 14-7. to seven. Defending Madden 17. Vikings champ looking to go back-to-back. -back. Like I said, like Killer Mike out in Seattle. John Watson, a little That's RPO. Right. He's going to run this one. He picks up. Be careful. The ball is... Out, wow. And it's recovered by Wade. Oh, the hit stick. That's the one thing you got to be careful with when you're running the ball and running your quarterback. Might lay it down on the ground. And, and here's where you're disappointed in a player like Strafen right there. He is a veteran. He knows Get you out. cannot take that hit. Get out. I don't know if those Lululemons are too tight, but uh, <laughs> he knows he dropped the ball on that one. Bo Jackson got a little space out there, picked up about 12. What will Wade do? He's got a full complement of timeouts. Just used one. Still has two left. Maybe he can get inside a field goal range here. No, both guys really didn't spend, uh, I was going to say a whole lot of money, uh, no money <laughs> on their kicking game. So a 14-7 lead for Strafen. We'll see if Wade can put up some points here right before the end of the half. Look at Wade. He's going to get into the little tight bunch here. First now, down and 10 with Bo Jackson offset to the left-hand side. Now with 15 seconds remaining, you got to make sure you don't get outside of your comfort zone. I know he's down seven, but you still want to keep canning that ball off. If he just went to the left. The left. Had the hole there. Come on, Beyonce. To the left. To the left. Everything he <laughs> needed was in that hole to the left. Beyonce. 
Well, he's going to find that his, he's going to be replaceable <laughs> if he doesn't start making a, some of these scores and converting on these. And you were just talking about lemonade a minute ago, so yeah. <laughs> we keep the Beyonce references going. Oh, man. My wife loves Beyonce. I'm sure she's uh, having some fun right now watching. Got his uh -oh. receiver. Can he get out of bounds? He does. Still has a timeout left. I think he might need another 10 yards or so. Maybe get a quick out or something like that for Wade. Yeah. Going to have four he seconds four left. four seconds. This is Randy Moss. He needs like 15 <laughs> yards. Yeah, he needs to just go for it. He needs to throw that ball to Randy Moss and hope something great happens. What is Wrong side. But, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that one's picked off. Now, don't let him take yep, his back. Exactly. Good job bringing him down. And so there we go. We get the halftime, a 14-7 lead for IB Strafing. A couple of turnovers there for both guys. Ah, this, you know, not a lot of flow to this one right here. If you're IB Strafing, you're incredibly disappointed. Even though you have a seven-point lead, you know you had a chance to put this game away early. If you're good football game, Wade, you're happy because you know that you could have gotten blown out in this first half. You're only down seven, right? And you live to play another half. You got to make sure you capitalize on those chances you get. And he needs to do a little bit more besides giving it to Bo. You have that man, right. Randy Moss. Do yeah, you, you got you got to figure out how to use him though, and you got it. You got to send him that look. When he was in New England, he didn't really do anything except run goes. Couple of deep in cuts, but it's all goes in post routes. I mean, we saw that. You guys know that here with Skull Country back in 98 when, when Randy Moss. Remember the Thanksgiving Day game he had against Dallas? He had like four or five catches, three of them went for bombs. That was like a amazing. buck 75. I mean, that's what you got to do with Randy. You just got to, man, you got to throw that hand up, right? I remember. And you got to get it to him. I'm going to use my mad historian bit for his moment. One of the greatest tournaments ever was the Game Time Philly throwback tournament. Everybody used the 98 Vikings. Yes, everybody. And one of the greatest offensive teams ever. ever. They were the greatest they, they offense were, until they were instant they highlights in England. Yeah. every game. Absolutely. And speaking of highlights. Let's go ahead and take a look at these highlights. Had a couple of scores, actually about three scores. I'll be strafing with a 14-7 lead. We'll take a look at these first half highlights. And that was the first mistake of the ball game, a pick for Ivy Strafing. And then we know what happens next. Oh, yep. You know, it's that time. And he ran it, was able to break that tackle, got to the outside, and it was six all day. That was a 40-yard touchdown run by Howard there. But back comes the, I don't want to keep, I want to call him the newbie, but he's really not just doing a competitive Madden, but back with the score for Wayne. Well, Ivy Strafe but not to be outdone. Has a moment. That was a great wow, what a cross. Well, he laid out for that one. He was not leaving anything on the table. Got to the outside and took that touchdown lead. Look at that. And that was the the play there, the, the play that put him up by a score 14-7, and that was costly there. Had at least three points, would have had a two-score game, and we all know how important that is in competitive Madden or any sort of uh, real NFL game. And then another pick for uh, Wade, closing out the half and only down a touchdown right now. So if you're Wade, right, you're down a touchdown, you can run the ball, haven't done a real good job of uh, throwing the ball, what do you do here? Do you keep it on the ground? And if you're strafing, it's very simple. Get a two-score lead, and it's probably over. If you're strafing, all you're doing is forcing him to pass. I might even load the box up and dare him. He doesn't want to throw it to Randy Moss? No problem. I'm going to make you try step outside of your zone. Mm -hmm. You never know what will happen. If you're good football game, <laughs> wait, you want to make sure that you don't put yourself in any compromising positions, any long third downs, which are going to turn into fourth and having to pass because we right. see what happens when he passes nothing good there is i be strafing though if you're wade i think the first thing you do when you get the ball you go right up top and try to take the top right off the defense and let strafing know right now i am going to use number 84 i spent a lot of cap space on him it's my time to go ahead and put it into his hands there and there is wade from oh right outside of minneapolis here new brighton was uh wingate's uh old town but for this young man, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, a little north of Minneapolis, uh, for Wade, there are 27 year olds to get the third quarter started. And it will be Wade getting the ball first. Strafen in the white. Actually, it'll be Wade uh, kicking off to Strafen. Strafen getting the ball first. Strafen in the all white. And Wade, here's your time to bow your neck and get that ball back and try to do something. If you're Strafen, here's an opportunity to get on the scoreboard, put some more points on the scoreboard, and then possibly stretch that lead to a double digit lead which should be uh, somewhat insurmountable 
uh, going against Wade in that rushing attack, especially he doesn't want to throw the ball. He's, He's got to keep Bo Jackson from breaking one. <laughs> First down and 10 for I.B. Strafen. Hands it off to Howard. Got some room up the middle. Breaks the tackle. Oh, what a good tackle there by the defensive back for Wade. But that's a pickup of about 14 yards. Strafen heading towards midfield there. Great pickup on Howard. Howard's had a really good day today. Should be over 100 yards there uh, for Howard running the rock. Yeah, 116 yards there. They put him over 100 yards there for I.B. Strafen. Sean Watson doing a good job handing. Oh, Howard got some room to the left-hand side. Can he break it? Oh, he's brought down by Paul Kraus. Oh, holding on for dear life. There are two rushes over 30 yards there for Strafing in position now to, to get some points here. Nice drive he's got going. Yeah, it was interesting. I had a chance to talk with Ivy Strafing and uh, his buddies who came down from Wisconsin to support him. And then don't forget, Jag was here as well working with them they put together a game plan and they made sure they gave him one exact directive if you get down to that red zone don't you dare throw that highball pass ever this is not madden 17 right do not throw that highball pass you can come out and run any other play you want fake field goal fake punt whatever you want to do just don't Throw that high ball. It'll be interesting to see what happens when he gets down to the red zone. Second 11 for Ivy Strafe, and he's got his receiver down to the right-hand side, Deshaun Watson. Having a good day so far. Five of six passing, uh, about 60 yards there. Julio Jones, that's his first catch of the day. Uh, I, I, that's another thing I want to see. I want to see Julio get deep because we all know how good he is, especially in regs with the Falcons. Uh, with Julio Jones. Third down and six for Ivy Strafen. These guys haven't really played at all. Don't know a whole lot about each other. One's a PS4 guy, one's an Xbox guy. And Ryan being the Xbox guy, Strafen, the Xbox guy. So they really haven't crossed paths a lot. So both guys, I, I think they felt each other out in the first half. I talked with uh, Strafen about him taking Deshaun Watson as opposed to, with what he was trying to do with oh, as opposed to a... Burned a town out there. Mike Vick. It was interesting. He said he had to have a right-handed quarterback. Trying to run his offense with a left-handed quarterback mm. completely threw him off. Okay. And all of his reads and everything like that. Strafing in the bunch. Gun bunch, and he's going to hand it off to Howard. That's been a good play for him. He's run a lot of good run plays off that left-hand side. That time, D. Wade, I said D. Wade, G. Wade doing a good job. A gamer Wade doing a good job of... Uh, Playing a pretty tough defense there, holding him to a, a no-yard game. And you got to love how his corner didn't come in and kept Ivy Strafen from breaking it outside, which forced him to turn it up and not get that gain he was looking for. Set the edge there. Nice little force play uh, by Wade. Second down and 10 inside the red zone for Strafen. He's got some room up the left-hand side, back into the middle. Give him about eight or nine yards there. Should be about third down and one. Howard, 114 yards rushing on the day. Doing a good job running uh, for Ivy Strafen. Third down and one here. If you wait, you got to find a way maybe to put some pressure on him and possibly um, go ahead and force this field goal attempt there as he gets into the... While it looked like he was circling through looking for plays to run, you got to love the way Ivy Street is also trying to manage the clock as well. Yes. He, he knows he's about to go up two scores barring another fumble and that good football game Wade's <laughs> offense isn't as explosive as some of the other ones out there. So very, very smart by the savvy bench. Back in the gun, the flex, the gun tight formation out there for Strafen. Second down and goal for Ivy Strafen. He's going to get back in that gun flex there for Strafen. And if you're, if you're, if you're Wade, got to make sure that you do what you need to do here with your 3-4 defense. There he is, 3-4. Maybe mix in a little 3-3-5 three, three, as well. That's where he's comfort, comfortable at comfort level second down to go Howard oh he had the room on the right side how did he not get he into the end zone there? for a second exactly the hesitation there cost him seven <laughs> he who hesitates is lost but you just hope you don't lose now here's where it gets interesting it's third and goal I see his boys I see Jag they're waiting wanting needing to find out is he gonna throw that darn high point pass gun tight four straight and third and go Sean Watson got Howard behind him. Looking across the middle. High balls. He can't bring it down with Julio Jones. Fourth and goal. Of course, you take the field goal here. Or do you get crazy 
and still go for it. What was crazy was the fact that he just threw that high point pass after everything that was talked about. I haven't seen him make that play since he played spot me please in Burbank. When he came down to it, he threw that same pass, and that's what got him sent home. Mm. The question was, was he going to be able to build on that red zone offense? Mm. Yeah. He's only able to get three there. That was almost like a waste of a down. You've been running the ball so great. You have Deshaun Watson. Go back to one of your famous calls. He needed an RPO there <laughs> to give him a, 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 to put that pressure on Wade yeah. to make him make a decision. And then he might have been able to get seven instead of three. Although, hopefully 10 points will be able to get it done. As we always like to say in Madden, hey, a field goal is a win. If you're Wade, you take that as a win. First down and 10. Way with the ball for the first time in a long time. Straven took off, uh, took off uh, over three minutes, three minutes and 36 seconds there on uh, that first drive here in the third quarter. First and 10 for Wade. He's got to get something going here uh, for the 27-year-old from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, a little north here of Minneapolis. Back to throw, and he's got a receiver, and it is hauled in. Randall Cunningham with his third completion of the ball game. Got two picks on the day. He's got to do a better job of securing the ball and being better at keeping the ball away from the defense first and ten for Wade back in the gun once again got Randall Cunningham Bo Jackson offset to his right hand side hands it off the bow bow's got a little room a good job there of Ed Reed filling that hole doing a good job on defense holding him to a gain of about three yards second down and seven for Wade once again in the hurry up barking out call second down and seven Randall Cunningham in the gun for Wade. Under a minute left here in the third quarter. Wade down two scores. He's down 17 to 7. Wisely throws it away. It'll be third down and seven for Wade. Not a good day for Randall Cunningham passing. Three of seven, two interceptions. Got to do a better job if you're Wade. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to blame Randall on that one. I'm going to say that. Gonna blame the like, user? <laughs> I'm going to blame operator Aaron <laughs> on that one because he, he's had some looks. But he's still in this game technically. He's going to need to go ahead and put some points on the board in a hurry because it's already approaching the fourth quarter. I like what Strafen is doing. He's got some press coverage on Brandon Cooks, not respecting him. He's got some single coverage. Now he's back as well. He's backing those corners off. Awesome. Oh, and it's picked off. And it's Paul Krause. Pick six the other way with the one bar face mask, the moon face mask, as we used to say. And Strafen giving a shout-out to his fans back there. Mob deep. The, the crew is deep back there <laughs> with those guys. Jack sitting everybody. The best part is that may have done it. All his family, brothers, mother, sisters, father, everybody's cheering. But his three boys have not cheered because they're still mad he threw that high point pass <laughs> when he was in the red zone. They specifically told him not to. We talked about this. We laughed about this. Why are you throwing that high pass? But it did not cost him. He was able to get a field goal out of it. And just now that pick six, he is up by 17. And barring a miracle, uh, Wade's going to have to really get out of his comfort zone unless he can bust out Bo Jackson for a long run or something of that nature. He's going to have to throw it. And right now, if you're Wade, you just have to throw it up to Randy Moss. Wade is a quarter and 24 seconds away from Ivy Streaming him telling him GFG. First down and 10. Under 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Ivy Strafing extending his lead. 10 points here in the third quarter. He's got a 17-point lead. Uh, that's a three-score ball game there, 24 to 17 for Abby Strafen. There he is. Does he gonna, he's going to take a look at Moss. He does, and he takes off with Randall Cunningham. Picks up about two yards there, second down and eight. Clock ticking here in the third quarter. Time winding down. Receivers are running back to the line of scrimmage. At some point, you've got to take a look at Randy Moss. We've been saying it over and over. What is the chat saying about the offensive Wade right now? Uh, they've actually moved on. The chat has decided <laughs> that IB Strafing is going to win this game, and they can't wait to see him and the youngster. Him and the youngster. Go at it next Mint game. Goat. Winner's Goat. 24-7 to seven here in the fourth quarter as we get underway here. Larry Riddle, Rico Williams live here at Mall of America. Rico, you're about to say? It's going to be interesting to see if Wade can still continue to fight here. He's down <laughs> quite a bit, but he has a fourth, he has a whole fourth quarter, and stranger things have happened. That's a Madden buzz term. Can he show some fight? There he's got the completion. Hits his receiver on the left-hand side. Down. It was third and 17. Picks up about half of it. There are fourth and nine coming up here 
and this is the ball game if you're Wade. Uh, if you don't convert here, there's no way that you can't come back. So the chat asked, what does the F stand for in GFG? And I told him, football. Good football game. You got that, Zob? <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, we, we did tell you off the top exactly what it meant. Um, may, maybe we'll get back to that here in a second. But uh, for the That's our story, it's, it's we're, sticking we're, we're sticking with that story there. So we have a turnover on downs there. Uh, sack Cunningham was, and that should just about do it. I know there's four minutes and 51 seconds left. I'll be strafing here. Uh, definitely a touchdown puts way out of reach. Uh, but speaking of way out of reach, if he throws that high point pass again down here in this thing. Oh, good move there. To I'm going to be in tears. Get back close to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 12. Howard there on a negative two-yard run there. Loses two yards for Howard. 24-7 lead for Abby Strafing here. The defending Vikings Madden champion looking to repeat and head down to the Pro Bowl. Four minutes and about 30 seconds left from moving on to the championship of the Madden 18 Vikings Championship live here at the Mall of America. Here you're watching on Vikings.com and also on Twitch.tv slash Madden. We want to thank our sponsors, Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Minnesota Vikings, CenturyLink, the trusted technology partner of the Minnesota Vikings, and Hyundai, the official partner of the Minnesota Vikings and the NFL. Once again, I want to thank our sponsors, Pepsi, CenturyLink, and Hyundai. Third and 13, do you think he's just going to go ahead and run it because he knows he has the game under control? Absolutely. Or is he looking to go ahead and uh, add a little insult to injury? Well, switch it up there, make it a four-score game, but you got to think here, 20 points, that's a lot to overcome. No, you, you take it. You're the veteran player. Make the veteran move and the veteran play. Oh, he's got Howard. If you can just turn it up. Oh, what a truck right there. And he drags Krause another two yards. So be, yeah, I was going to say maybe a yard short, fourth and inches for Strafford. I have no problem if you go for it here. You, yeah, you have to go for it. You can go ahead and end the game even if you give up and you don't get it. With the time and the offense you've seen, you're still in a great position. Absolutely. Fourth and inches here, going to chew a little clock, get it down under 10 seconds. Or does he take the delay of game and kick the field goal? Yeah. Not going to take the delay of game and kick the field goal with Bo Jackson. <laughs> These guys didn't spend a, a, a dollar, <laughs> not a point on field goal kickers and punters. Do you huh? think he makes this? I think he does. <laughs> I think he does. It's going to be a, what is it? 28-yard field goal, and it's up, and it's good. And that was easily made by Bo Jackson. Yeah, that no, would have no. been good for there's 48. Nothing, there's nothing easy about making <laughs> that field goal. Last year at the Super Bowl, we filmed a piece where I got to go through the combine. Hmm. When I tell you kicking that field goal is one of the hardest things I've ever done. Oh, breaking news when it feels like breaking. Shout out to the top. It's just getting better and better here at the Mall of America, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. The Vikings mascot. The Vikings cheerleaders Vikings are in the building. Vikings cheerleaders are in the house as well. What a treat this is for all of the fans here. And got the Vikings mascot. We're going to have the skull drum line as well. They're going to be coming up as well. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen out there in Twitch land and on the stream. If, since you can't see the cheerleaders right now, I'll make sure to take a picture with go. them and post it on social media. <laughs> Why you to gotta be? Sure. Yeah, you acting like you acting like puffy now. You gotta I'm, be all up. I'm, in the I'm doing all this. Up in the I'm, I'm doing this for the stream. <laughs> I, I'm doing this for the culture. <laughs> Do it for the culture, though. But why you gotta be all up in the pictures, man? All up in their videos. Hey, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> How about Puffy Diddy trying to buy the Carolina Panthers? You see that? Yes. <laughs> what do you think about that? I wish him all the best. <laughs> I look, I don't mind it, man. Get some, um, get some uh, youthful exuberance in the ownership of the National Football League. Vikings got a good owner here with uh, the Will family doing a great job. Is that a fumble? It is, but it is recovered by good football game, a.k.a. Wade, down 27-7, down by 20 points. Your third and in inches for Wade here needs to pick up a first down as we wind this thing down. We're about two and a half minutes away from the final which will more than likely be strafing against Went Goat. So we'll have an old-school veteran against the young cat, the 18-year-old, the upset-minded Went Goat. And look at the Vikings mascot Here coming to sit down in the, in, the, in the crowd there, hanging out with the fans. Good mascot, man. Oh, wow. He got that first down. I didn't know if he was going to be able to get that on fourth and four. Was able to complete his pass there on fourth down, first and ten. Getting closer to the two-minute warning. I just want him to throw one deep ball to Randy Moss. Just one. 
There's Bo Jackson off. Tackled by Paul Krause. Picks up about 9 or 10. We'll give him 9 on that play. Second down in inches. Tick, 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 tick. I'm, I'm stunned. Randy Moss has been targeted, I think, once all day. Let that I, I, I'm speechless about that. Let that but, in. hey, everybody, that's why you get a chance to be the GM, you get a chance to be the coach. There's a second target right there, and it is completed. His first pass catch of the day. So just know, maybe you like GFG Wade as the GM who picked up Wade, I mean, who picked up Moss and Bo Jackson and all them, but you don't like him as the coach. <laughs> we just might need to replace him as the coach. Randall Cunningham back to pass. Oh, great job there. Threw it right before he got smacked in the mouth by Anthony Barr. The great linebackers in the National Football League. A heck of a user for Madden uh, in the competitive gaming division. Second down and three. Competitive players love Anthony Barr, man. He's rangy, he's big, he, and he has size as well. Randall Cunningham, second down and three. Can Oh, that high pass and it's picked off by Ed Reed. Turnover chain for Ed Reed, the former Hurricane. And that should do it. He'll be able to run out the clock, and Strafing will get the victory by at least 20 points. Yeah. Tough one today for Wade. Tough, tough, tough sledding today for Wade. Does, tough now, sledding if, you're, for if Wade. you're Wade here, do, do you try to run commit, see if you can get yourself a safety or something to try to take up the momentum? Uh, sure. What are you allowing? Sure. No, I, I just... 22 for 137 and two TDs. I wish I had him on my fantasy team. I might have not lost my league this year. Uh, I think one more yard here. We go into the victory formation. Uh, look, look at the just. The, I, I like the fact that in this final we're going to have Strafen. He's got his folks out there. I, I see the Danzig uh, T-shirt over there. I think that must be mom, right? Uh, out out, in, <laughs> out yeah. in the crowd doing a great job. <laughs> they got the kids out in this cold weather. I'm talking about the Strafing crew. Deep inside of Mall of America. They're all going to go to the to the rides here when they're done, probably. Well, they're going to go to the rides. I just know his boys are going to talk to him as soon as this game is over. <laughs> and be like, look, if you want to ride back to Wisconsin, you will not throw that pass again. Oh, we got the Vikings cheerleaders over here to our side. But before we get to them, we'll congratulate IB Strafing once again back into the championship game for the Madden 18 Vikings Championship.